now with pride turned orange and central in downtown Orlando into the epicenter of unconditional love and respect. Oh yeah, and it was loud. Just ask Democratic Orlando Congressman Maxwell Frost. That's important because right now across the state there's a lot of hate, but today is about love in the beautiful city of Orlando where we love each other no matter what, with music and everything. He wasn't the only politician pushing back on Republican-backed laws aimed at restricting transgender health, drag shows, and workplace diversity training. Former State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith is running for State Senate. Right now we are seeing so many attacks against our community from Tallahassee, which is why you've seen record turnout. Uh, they want us to be fearful, but our message is one of hope and one of love because love always wins. Local businesses like BNY Mellon joined this parade to let the community know their workplaces are safe places that foster fairness and equality. As you can see from the turnout, it's important for our customers, but more importantly, just or it's just as important for our employees. West TV and our broadcast partners are proud supporters and drew a big crowd, including Sheldon Dutez and Sonica Dange. Right, Hearst is our parent company of West 2 and CW18, and they are very committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Except for a break during the pandemic, Come Out With Pride has been going steady and growing steadily since 2005 with more than 100,000 people expected at various events today. The one word message of Come Out With Pride is freedom to live, work, and be who you want to be. In Orlando, Greg Fox, West 2 News. And Greg was part of our broadcast team that provided live online coverage of the parade today on WESH.com. Our very own Michelle Imperato and Michelle Meredith and Sunait Gebregetigas also joined our coverage, bringing viewers the massive march from start to the finish line. Very nice.